Alright people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at an advanced version of Poly. So as the game gets faster and faster and, you know, with Synchro Summoning and Exceed Summon and Pendulum Summoning, it just kind of seems like uh, Fusion Summoning is falling behind and because they're just the reliance on the card Poly. Without Poly, they're really not doing much. So uh, this person decided to go ahead and make a new updated version of Poly. So we're going to go ahead and review it as if it's a real card and determine whether if this card was real, would it help? So, this is Advanced Fusion. It's a normal spell card that reads, this card's name is always treated as Poly. So, it's always Poly. You can search it because it's Poly. It's Poly, all right? So, you can't have three Advanced Fusion and three Polymerizations in your deck. No, it's, it's Poly. You know, just like with Harpy Ladies, it, 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 that's Poly. Uh, fusion Summon. One Fusion Monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or your side of field as Fusion Materials. Minimum one from each. Okay, so... That whole minimum one from each means that you have to have, I guess, the materials has to be one on the field and one in your hand. So you can't just be like, all right, well, let me poly the three blue eyes in my hand. Like, no, you have to have at least one of them on the field, a minimum one each. So that's not as good, <laughs> but okay. But it has another effect. If your opponent controls a special summon monster, you can also use one monster from your deck as fusion, fusion material instead or additionally. But if you do, you cannot start to summon other monsters for the rest of the turn. You can only create one advanced fusion per turn. Okay, so you get to go, if your opponent controls a special monster, you can use one of the materials for your fusion from your deck. That's pretty powerful. And, you know, even as we see from Shadal and stuff like that, using materials from your deck is pretty powerful. But it is only one. It's not like it's the entire fusion. And, uh, you know, it, it, I'm assuming it has to be listed. Use fusion monster as your deck. The fusion material it doesn't say that it has to be listed, so maybe it could just be any generic fusion material, but it probably should be listed just to specify. But then at that point, you're literally just sending anything you want to, like, oh well, you know, it's a hero plus a dark monster. I would like to go ahead and send any dark monster, so uh, you know, you might want to be a little bit more specific with that. Uh, but you cannot special summon any other monsters to turn, uh, so it's kind of like. Uh, Red Eyes Fusion, closer to that, because you know, they can, you know, they can play Shadow Fusion and continue Special Summoning and go to town. They have no restrictions, but this not only does your opponent have to control a Special Summon monster similar to uh, Shadow's, but you cannot Special Summon any other monsters for the rest of the turn. Kind of like Red Eyes Fusion, but I believe it's just you can't summon monsters, period. Normal or special, so. Mm. And then the whole, you cannot activate, a one, you can only activate one event Fusion per turn. I don't like that either. I mean, I get it's powerful that, you know, oh wow, if your opponent has a Special Monster, you can go ahead and keep Fusion from the deck, but... Keep in mind, this is replacing Poly. This is Poly. This is, I'm, I'm taking out Poly out of my deck. I can play Poly as many times as I want per turn, you know? When I'm playing my Moonlight, I want a Poly and Poly again and Poly again. But with this, if I'm taking out Poly and playing Advanced Fusion, I play Advanced Fusion, I can only activate one once per turn. You can only activate this as a substitute for Poly once per turn. So that's not good. <laughs> so... Overall, if this was a real card that would, and it was supposed to be the replacement poly, I don't care how good that whole middle effect is where you can go ahead and use a monster from your deck. I don't like it because one, I had to control the monster on my field. You know, I, whether it be all right, well, it's going to be kind of difficult to summon one of the materials to the field, or I don't want to use my normal summon for it. You know, like, you know, I, let's say for example, I'm playing this in Moonlights once again, or Fluffles. While I could just go, all right. Poly, fuse these two materials in my hand, summon the monster, and I still got my normal summon, this requires me to have at least one of the materials on the field. So, I would have to be like, alright, well, I'm using Advanced Fusion instead of Poly, so I guess I'll normal summon one of the materials, then play Advanced Fusion and fuse. Like, I don't like that. I don't like that I can activate one Advanced Fusion per turn. If I have all the materials, I should be able to activate Poly as many times as I have Polys in my hand. This is the way that it should be. Because, like, in Moonlights, you got to activate multiple polys per turn. So, this would just be too slow. So, in exchange for that whole, you can you can use one of the materials in your uh, deck if your opponent controls a special monster, but you can't special summon for the rest of the turn. I'm just, and I'm not for that either, you know. And, for example, once again, going back to Moonlights or Fluffles. I can use one of the materials from my deck, that's great and all, but I can't special summon any other monsters. Like, it's not, like, outside of fusion summon. I just can't special summon monsters. So, yeah, I can go ahead and fuse... Uh, one of the materials from my deck to make like a fluffle tiger and pop your shit, but you don't have to worry about me summoning anything else. You know, maybe a normal summon, but I'm not fusing summoning. I'm not special summoning anything else for rest of turns. So I, I'm not. It just seems a little bit too restrictive, a little bit too weak for my taste. So, even though the the 
the fusion from the deck is not, the restriction is just too high, so I'm not even sure if this card was real and anybody really play it unless they're trying to be like real cute with like uh, a fusion deck where they really don't care. Like maybe they're like, all right, well, I'm playing a Rainbow Neos deck, so I'm going to play this, I'm going to fuse, you know, maybe like a, a Neos on the field and a Rainbow Dragon in my deck. Because I think you still, in the end, uh, instead of or additionally, I believe you still have to have the monster on the field. I've been using Fusion Monster from a hand or extra deck, minimum one each. If your opponent controls plus one monster, you can also use one monster from your deck as Fusion Materials instead or additionally. So, I guess you use the instead part, so you can use one in your hand, and instead of using the monster on your field, you can use the one in your deck. So, yeah. You just be like, alright, well, advanced Fusion, fusion fuse this Neos in my hand, which you have a high uh, consistency of getting, and a Rainbow Dragon, which you have a high consistency of getting either in your hand or deck, and summoning Rainbow Neos. But then, you still can't switch summon any other monster for the rest of the turn, but, hey, it's motherfucking Rainbow Neos, right? Or maybe, uh, a Warrior from the, uh, Last Warrior from Another Planet, just cute things like that, but a practicality in the fusion mechanic, I just don't really see how it helps with all these restrictions. So uh, there we go, another fake card. So uh, tell me what you guys think about Advanced Fusion in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this fake card Friday. Of course, we'll be back next Friday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys next time.